Hey guys, it's Will here, taking a look at the Company of Heroes 3 mission alpha that they're doing. So this is the first mission in the African Core campaign series that they're doing. So this time around, they're doing two sort of um, things. There's going to be a sort of open world Age of Empires map, which is going to be Italy itself, that you will get to play around in and what have you testing that there you go you'll get to play around in and do stuff in and then there's going to be the more linear more classic like Com company of heroes one and russia campaign uh, where it's going to be mission after mission stuff like that i'm a more fan of that um i really like that i liked it from dawn of war i liked it from this uh for those who may have played dawn of war 3 they've learned greatly from their lesson and what they've done i felt very much the difference between this game and that one feels very much so that sega forced it feels like they were forced to do certain things so they wanted to try some stuff with dawn of war 3 and it didn't work at all because they changed the formula drastically whereas this the guys who work on it feels very much like the company of heroes 2 guys but they upped it and so far i've played the i played the o day one um campaign demo and then i played the multiplayer demo and now we're playing the campaign demo which if you guys want this game after watching it it's going to be released here on november 17th this year unless you know pushbacks happen which will suck <clears throat> a little bit more background for this guys i know it doesn't it doesn't mean anything as i've learned from the chieftain on youtube though you may be a tank commander or you had some tank experience doesn't mean you are a professional like tank entrepreneur of world war ii stuff it just means what have you like it doesn't mean much so as a person who loves the game series this is my all-time favorite rpg series ever it's i'm going into this rose colored glasses whatever with knowledge of the past though I don't know more. I don't play multiplayer like crazy. I'm not a like RPM whatever insane StarCraft player. So my views on this and my knowledge of this might not be 100% and might not be even worth looking at. I'm more of a I'm more of a PVE player. Uh, missions, the theaters of wars. So that's kind of the background that we're going into this. Uh, with that, if you guys like it please leave messages down below. I will be playing this when it comes out, so maybe you guys want to see the full gameplay. We can do that. Um, if you guys want to, like, the sort of setting, I'm starting up a small African core British 8 army. Uh, it's going to be the Highlanders and some of the uh, the local people of that, that province. I think they're called provinces or territories, basically, in that area, so... If you guys want to see that make sure to take a look down below i should be doing the bridge here very soon for uh for pegasus bridge but with that let us go into the game italian troops have engaged the british forces nearby they're fighting hard but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed we need to provide support by pushing forward with our panzers Okay guys, so we are in the game here. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud. Okay, so we are here. It seems classic controls are back as normal. The newest thing that they have introduced into this game here, um, ooh, scrolling mouse, is we have, yes, I get that get out of here field control. Uh, so we have dudes on the tanks here. Uh, some of them are kind of floating. Anti-tank gun is a formidable threat. Eliminate it. Again, is um, in alpha, so they'll be better later on. I'm playing on medium just because this game, again, is not fully optimized. And I'm not really using my personal rig to play this because it couldn't. So uh, thank you, Glenn. Shout out to you. Uh, his profile's in my suggesteds. If you guys want to check him out, he streams on Twitch. But 
so we're running it on medium just to not you know fry the system though it's pretty good at cooling itself so i could crank this if i wanted to but as you can see here we have dudes on the tank um they have their sort of helmets things here i'm not too sure if those symbols were on the helmet at this time or if, uh, if they get off later on but we got greens the green helmets the stuff looks good tumbleweed i am liking how the panzers look uh, they don't have the armors yet and um, have you so we got that we come around here and look at this we have the the dalmatian Dom, dalmarin i forget the armored car then we have we have the oh i forget its name but uh friend we have a stewart uh a crusader a matilda we have Italians. They have their uh, they have their Beretta machine guns, classic. Let's go in here. Let's protect our friend. Let's send these guys over here. Uh, they don't have an outline. It looks like except for on here for selecting so unlike the elder games where they're highlighted oh we have friends so let's see what our guys can do we got friends again and deer uh the xp bar i like this upgrades it shows you what weapons they have how many dudes i'm really liking this layout here they have a focus fire ability combined arms because tanks because it makes sense they can repair Got grenades, anti-tank. So it looks like this stuff might be later on upgrades. Uh, if we're playing multiplayer. But I think they just get it for uh, for uh, campaign purposes. So we're going to throw our smoke. because anti. Actually, we're going to throw this. There we go. Go there. We don't want to risk our... Uh... As you can see, it shows damage on the armor here, so that's pretty neato. Okay, throw that grenade. We want to throw that tank gun out so we can actually... And boom. So we got that. They're in the trenches. Uh... They're going to stay down there because I can't do stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go repair that tank. Okay, so another big thing that they have in this one is called um, Tactical Pause. Yeah, right there. Just, like, look at that. Perfect timing. So we can go these guys. We only have one dude left. And we have a bunch of things there. So we're going to have him... Throw like that. You're going to smoke out. You're going to move to here. And you can see how they're going to move there and stuff. And you can change it. And these guys are going to come over and support them. So when I hit space now, it will do everything. So for people like me who get like really... Oh, that was new. So for guys like me who get easily overwhelmed and can't micro-click so well compared to others, um, this is a really nice mechanic because it helps. So I can actually have a moment to think. So that. Go capture that. You, you're gonna come over here. So it's showing here that the front armor is my strongest, side is medium, and then my rear is the weakest. We have defeated the British forces, but more are expected to arrive soon. Return to headquarters and deploy additional troops immediately. Okay. Don't wait for permission! Our 
Australian allies are engaged with a British force attacking from the east. Our goal... Okay, so it looks like we have a base now. So we, we have engineers. So let's see, we can make resource cash. I guess this is, yeah, so you place this on the flags. It looks like they do both now. <clears throat> Wire cutters seem to be built in. Add skill craft so we can do upgrades. So we can give them a grenade launcher. Okay. Flamethrower. Gotta give them the classic flamethrower. Okay, deploy. Take gun. Okay, so we can place flags like before. Build or destroy. We can do pioneers. We have orders to move. LEIG, indirect fire support. Keep parking in. The recovery vehicle allows us to strengthen our forces by restoring disabled vehicles. Currently, we can. Yeah, so this is a an assault gun or a panzer equipped with a flame projector. So this is a new, a new uh, thing that they're inter they're trying to push on this, this vehicle here. I know uh, engines hot. Everything's hot. Okay, I like the humor's back. So this was a vehicle the American, uh, was it the Americans or the Germans also had in one of the Company of Heroes. So, okay, so that's cool. So it looks like we can tow, we can tow uh, vehicles now. Oh, so it looks like we can do smoke and, um, uh, so in the old ones, it used to be if you chose one, the other one would, uh, be out of, uh, like, you couldn't select it. So it would be, um, you know, unusable until it recharged. Let's look, take a look at these guys' movements. For Alpha, this is pretty good. I like that. Um, you see these guys are dodging, they're running, they're hiding. When the rounds were going off exploding, the one guy crouched and docked out of the way. And there we have him, like we see he threw a thing. And one guy witnessed me. But... Okay. Go. So we're repairing. Oh, the fire detail on the engine's nice. Kind of want one of these. If they make it as a model, I might pick up one of these. Uh, you can't see my cursor, but the thing I'm selecting here. Okay, engineers. Oh, so this truck just... Okay. So this truck just insta re re heals anything. Okay. Get on, boyos. Oh, so that's cool. You can actually see them... See them crawl on. Well, that's where the mortar is coming from. Get them. So that's kind of cool. So when they get shot at, they hop off the tank. Get behind cover, boils. Okay, so we're going to use our tactical pause here. We're going to get this tank to come here. These guys are going to go capture that. While artillery boy here is going to give them smoke. And then Stuggy, you're going to come help them. We're going to go capture this spot. And you're going to have Pentagram gears on you. Those guys are going there. Okay, we need you over here. Nearby, with 
the right equipment, our Panzer Pioneers can detect and defuse mines. So we have Italian armor, or repair. Structure. Okay, so we're gonna basically we've captured this spot, so we're gonna have to we get some machine gun teams here. Oh, pioneer squad at the ready. Roll. Reloading. Let's advance, pioneers. Ready for bring that weapon in position. Hold! Keep it coming! Don't give them a chance! Anti tank going. Going. I need a clip! An MG 34 team has arrived! Alright, so we've got abilities. Oh, their voice changes when they get into a building too. That's kind of cool. Hey, you guys, uh, there's enemies right here. Core got all the dudes riding on there. We got the Stewarts, sure. Mishmash. Uh, realistically, in the war, uh, especially in uh, Africa in the desert, there, halfway through, the people were stealing each other's stuff. Uh, oh, that's a lot of yeah, Vehicle has been destroyed. They would steal each other's stuff because fuel was so low. Oh, On them. I know you're probably thinking, why? 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 Why are you smoking enemies? Because they can't see you. You can't see them. And then you can do this. And now I have a, uh, a truck.
Ah, oh, we got some, uh, is, uh some Gurkhas. Okay, so I had to unload the dudes. Okay, I see, I see. I see how this works. Hold on! Pioneers, we are being pulled upon. Pioneers will see it is done. Christoph, take the lead! Infantry defeated! I know Everything Watch your fire! To be, we flank them. Our spotters have reported that the British troops are attempting to withdraw to the northwest. We cannot allow that to happen. There is a village nearby. Capture it and blockade the road to prevent the British from escaping. Where is my... Move the 8mm anti-tank gun up to defend the roads into the village against the British assault. You can take train carts. Go! So we want to set our zone here, the zone here, Get a couple of mortars, zone there. Shut up. This is a powerful addition to our lone range arsenal. We can use our mobile squads to find targets for it. Now we should set up the Flak 36 to cover the routes into the village. Retreat, my friends. Retreat. Oh. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. So these guys are the demolition dudes. Units have been slain. Coordinates received, Commandant. 
Oh, get in there. So we're back. I wanted to take a quick look here. Um, not talking much. I'm not great at the game. So at least we can do some history and some model looking stuff as a modeler's perspective and historian fan. So looking at the gear here, we have the Pack 43. Um, that's what at least it's supposed to be. Pack 38. My bad. They kind of look similar. The models probably be updated later on, but most likely going to stay the same. So you see the crew here, they have uh, bandanas on. True, this thing would kick up a lot of dust when firing. Um, so we got pretty cool, like the breach here to see the gears. We have the pack 88. If I can freaking in mid fire, it's on a, its platform. Got the crew standing on there. Guy in the back there with the machine gun, which has the wood stock on it. I don't know if the wood stock would be gang road. I think the wood stock would be gang rotated out here. I would say this is about mid war, like the precipice of mid war slash late early war. For those who are like me who play bolt action, you're kind of looking like a stage in the war. This is definitely getting into the end of early war, just before the Americans are about to come in. Uh, they did say you're going to be playing. Tobruk, um, LL Lomain, uh, following Romel, 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 Remel. With that, we got the machine gun crew here. Uh, so we have the MG42. Makes sense. This is supposed to be like 40. Is this 42? Like, is this like what as the machine gun comes out? Well, here we have like a captured Vickers machine gun. The guy has ammo. You'd think by now they'd have and this would like maybe one or two would pop up but i would expect to see more mg 30 34 or 32s yeah, i think it's 32 mg 32 it's like as soon as i start recording freaking my brain goes derp when it comes to uh historical facts uh then go crusader two crusader one that just looks really good uh Guy crouching for his life. Here's the uh, little stubby. What are you? Two pounder. Those things are kind of funny. Quickly, quickly got uh, outdone by German armor. And then, of course, we have the uh, the assault squad here for the uh, the Italians. And we're gonna grab an engineer, some a weapon dude. Taking forever to clear this house. Okay, so we just cleared the village. We have control of the village. Intercept and destroy the withdrawing British troops by setting up defenses here or taking up positions along the main road. Punch on standby. Rest your fit incoming crew. See what it is first. Alright, we got it positioned. We have a medical thing. Oh, damn, you could be so far away and it'll upgrade. Damn. Oh, I guess because the house is there. My crew are ready. Well, let's get by the guys. Anti-tank gun. Prepare yourselves, men. The British troops are approaching. Eager to go. Put you... Okay, they're coming this way. You have orders. Grab the gun. Let's move.
Though I wish you could zoom out a little bit more. We'll never do that in RTSs. Oh, so it zooms up more than normal compared to the last two. Also do like the more simplistic looking interface. There's a little bit less. And I like how when you unclick things it goes away. So Oh, I see you. Oh, my dudes. Carnage. We're going for like an hour here. Crime. Yay! Retreating, killing retreating enemies. So, with that, guys, that was Company of Heroes 3. I'm stoked for this. I'm excited. I'm going to be pre-ordering it. So again, guys, if you want to see more gameplay, maybe more talking, more focusing, um, I kind of made this. I don't do much Let's Plays and stuff. I just, I whatever I have, if I remember to do a video on it, I make it as best as I can. But if you guys like this, or if you want to see maybe me in my next project, I'm very close to finishing my Pegasus Bridge Board. If you guys want to see maybe me do a... a um, a thing with Ryan because I know he's making Italians. I'm building the uh, British forces in the the Eighth Army, basically. If you guys want to see that made? Uh, let us know, and we might be able to do something for you guys. But with that, I'm gonna go. It is hot as hell out here, so I was not only was I playing a desert game, I was living in the desert. So I'm gonna go and turn on the AC. See you guys in the next video.